Hey guys, your work bears and welcome back to my FIFA uh, 17 Liverpool Crew. Well, we're to going into the second leg against Manchester City in the Champions League with the two goal advantage that I got from the first leg. And, uh, yeah, hoping to build on that, finish Man City off, and go into the the final of the Champions League once again. Um, I mentioned something about the other uh, game. I thought it had it finished. You no, know, no, I I must have gotten it confused with another game. It actually is two 0 as well. So going into the second leg, their second leg hasn't happened yet. Mine is happening first. But it is indeed 2-0. I think it's 2-0 to Leverkusen. How are they going to play it now on the home team? Because they've already got a lead. No, it's difficult sometimes. You don't want to sit back, do you? It is, def it is Leverkusen and... Uh, Positive again and trying to get the first one. And um, Borussia Dortmund, so... Well, with the rise of Manchester City, with the money that they've been getting... No fear of that. The Middle East. And their games there you can the see it. 2-0 to Leverkusen going into the second leg. Dortmund have only scraped through up until this point, so I don't know. Maybe they're gonna sneak through again. Well, that more than most, but they've got a really good side. As have Liverpool, it has to be said. That would lead to maybe an anti climax in the final, wouldn't it? Last time out, it was a way victory against. If I worked my ass off to get to the final in the year team, a couple of chances that came their way, but as a general rule, they're not creating too many. I think they might lose. Got there, by Skinner and her uh, other other teeth. You know. Well, a lot of nerves out so there. part of me kind of hopes Alan that if Dortmund do win the second leg, the that they don't like yeah, sneak through. Obviously, they, they could win it three nothing. Big reach for Liverpool. Third goal could come in there. Daniel Klein starts with David Alaba as the full Fucking Deli Ali starts with Renato Sanchez. 90th minute. And, the strike and it was a penalty. Joins up top with the uh, there was all sorts of controversy about it. Manchester City's lineup today. Shit. Leakin Mangala replaces Kyle Walker, who's suspended. Kevin Strotman plays with Ilkay Gundogan in the middle. And in attack, Kalechi Ikienacci. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how. The second leg of that goes compared to the second leg of my game. Of course, Man City are in a similar position. They need three goals. Here's me at least. And there's the interception. Even if I were to score one, if they beat me three one on the night, that that would send them through on away goals because they got the extra away goals. Two from the first leg. So. And it's a shot now. Referee is pointed for a corner. Not corner ideal. No. Two goals is the most I've considered in any match in this FIFA, so... I'm not not too worried, but I I am keeping that open as an option. Great contact with the header. Great work from the keeper. That's a good spot by the defender. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacha. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Lash it down the field, Courtois. Okay. Didn't go as far as I hoped with the header. Coutinho. Went straight to an opposition player. In this part of the pitch, Coutinho. He's pressed him there to ah, the damn it. I thought I was going to keep that in, but uh, to one of your teammates. not so. 
try this again. Flip the team. Damn it. Got in the ball. Good to act. De Bruyne just lumps up the field. That's going to go to absolutely nothing. Because his match is Roberto set. Firmino. Her. Her. On to the attack now. On the crowd. Very uh, lurking in sky blue shirts. Fairly. And won the ball cleanly. Sterling. And Manchester City have a free kick now. Firmino, if you're going to push that little shit down, at least... He stamp on him until he bleeds. This is the coverage of the Premier League fixture for Liverpool. They'll be hosting Arsenal. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Origi moving forward with three to the opposition. Now they're here. Renato. And it's the goalkeeper's ball. Oh, it's clearly a wasted cross. Normally, I think I was gonna get. The header when I saw the keeper was catching it. I was very close to knocking it out of his hands. I think that would have probably gone down as a, a foul though. Yeah. Or you, you would imagine it would go down as a foul. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Cross coming in now. Well, it was a cross that he got in quickly but he didn't really control. <sighs> out for a throw. And carrying the ball forward, it's the Manchester City. And that was a very well-timed tackle. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Three alley. Made the challenge. Otamendi doing absolutely everything he can to make sure for that attack came to absolutely nothing. Fair play to him. And uh, I don't know really what the score's going to be here. I don't think there's going to be much between them. So the referee blows and it's off and running for the second half of the Champions Cup semi-final. Well, we're getting to the point now where nobody can afford to make a mistake. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. Here the challenge is a good one. Three. Well, he could be in. Good ball to Mane. Oh, I was just getting ready to turn away from the defender and pass it. Into a free man. Damn it. Attacking Dio. Quick into the tackle and the throw off the of Strootman. David Alaba. Alaba. Good ball in. That was a good crossing position. Turn back, David. Not, not that way. That's the advantage law. Apply. Really, that was a foul on him. City. I'm delighted that that's happened. That was 50 50. It was good progress with this attack. Good defending. There was no more foul on De Bruyne than it was on um, my hate player. So the fact that the little thing popped up to the single fight that the referee was giving the advantage to see, he indicating he considered it now was a foul well, on De Bruyne. He's We've mad. Had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Brilliant team play this with the pass. Run the gun. Oh, his fellow German got the better of him. Sit the fuck down. Oops. He kicked awarded against Liverpool. Liverpool with uh, yellow. I knew it as soon as I pressed. I don't think he's with that at all. Uh, pressed square. I knew. That would be a yellow card. Here comes another German, Leroy Sané, is being introduced into the game. They cope with it well defensively. Coutinho. This is an excellent run. Tackle goes in. Good bottom. And he can't get there. Come on. Where's your pace, man? Where's your pace? 
What the fuck? Mane is one of the fastest players on my team, if not in the game. Like, sorry. Look at that. 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, and you're telling me he couldn't get to that. Mm-hmm. Really believable, EA. Yeah. Really believable. With the substitute now. Who couldn't have more? Well, I don't know who the only, he could only have two more acceleration and it would be at max. Because you can't get to 100 and stack. It's 99 is the max. Reflected behind a clear corner. Here comes the cross. Good to one. He made the save. Really. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Going up against Mangala. Cross the Alaba. Brorigi! Try again, Divock! Yes! Oh, that's great. And the wait is over. It's a fine goal. He slides through the uh, ball boy because why the fuck not? Their reward. Nicely taken. And patience has paid off finally. Get the fuck in! So that puts the aggregate score to 3 0. His company. And he's got the ball away from the goal means it actually can now not go to extra time and penalties, which I didn't want to go to anyway. Penalty! Oh, it's game over! Vincent and company with a very stupid decision. That could be a card as well. If I score this, this is over. That's already pretty much over. See, he still needs to score three goals. But if I score this, they'll need to score four. Tackle that went wrong. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Davaba, he's already missed. Some penalties this season. Oh, he's missed again! Defender to it first. That's cleared out of play. It'll be a corner. Oh, what happened to my accuracy from penalties? Alaba. That's three I've missed this season. to clear the danger still 1-0 here with the time almost up what about this uh, impacting on the next game well Liverpool go up against Arsenal foul by the Liverpool man oh <sighs> He's got great confidence as we've just seen. Hey, it's over the bar. I'm gonna bring off Matt Tip. I don't want to accidentally get him sent off and for him to miss the final. In from free on the fucking from technicality. That was a bit more than a, a sight stupid wasn't decision. It? it wasn't bad, although he is getting some dirty looks from teammates there. Three minutes left of the 90 minute match. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Read the play well to intercept. Three, Three minutes from the referee by the Firmino. official. That's the decision. And here's the shot. Ooh. Great work by the keeper. And there will be a corner kick. Could be the last. Action of the game. Tino. So. Ooh. What in our corner. Firmino! Oh, Sani! The, that's the job that's a win of, that he was put on the line to do. Make sure there was no hope oh, that the ball wouldn't get past him. That's why 
players to put on the line, ladies and gentlemen, for that exact reason. And when so let's go into the side. You put a man there. Or you want that player to, to show why you, you trusted that player for that task. Correct to say, hey, he did exactly what you would expect of a player you put on the line. And fair play to him. Ignore that, that was an accident. I was trying to remove him from my, uh, from my, uh, short list and I accidentally put him, that I inquired, accidentally. I'm not signing him, I don't need a right back, I have three. Seven myth. Holy in game against Arsenal for the second game of this episode. Wow, if I beat Arsenal, they cannot finish in the top four. Oh, Newcastle are relegated. Still kept that game in there. And but they're already four points ahead with only Newcastle only have one game left. So the thing should say, yep, there it is. I mean, that leaves only one relegation spot left between Stoke and West Brom. Oh wait, I should read, uh, use a different team because my team because the first team is oh no they're not that tired I will use a different team anyway I'll use this lot you know it's I just thought of something this is going to be Daniel Sturge's last appearance for Liverpool so I'm actually going to make him the captain Wait, will it be? Yeah, it will. Because after this, there's... The game against Spurs, which the uh, other second team... The other... Or, uh, team will play. And then... The last three games, Leverkusen got past Dortmund. Um, this game... This game... And this game will all be played by the uh, main guys to make sure. I don't get any complaints. But yeah, this will be Daniel Sturridge's last ever game for Liverpool. So yeah, I'm sending him out as the captain.
Hello, everyone. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith with me, as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. Well, Arsenal taking on Liverpool, and whenever these teams meet, obviously your mind turns to... The it's game fitting that his last game be a home game at Anfield. wasn't it? I hope we'll get just a, a fraction of the drama here today. If we do, we're in for a treat. This is the Liverpool side. And apparently he's an Arsenal supporter, so... Fine save, he's made that. And he's not is this fitting? His grasp. So for the home team, the chance for a league double Maybe. here. But they had to work hard for um, the away win. I don't know if that's sure true or not. Doubly determined to and if any of you are wondering where, how, how do, where, have I, where did I get this, it's uh, on Football Manager. If you go into uh, Daniel Sturridge's profile, you'll see Supporter Arsenal. I even looked at it, I was like, really? He played for Chelsea. He were one of Arsenal's biggest city rivals. To watch this Liverpool team, and look at the amount of goals they've scored. Top scorers. They are the entertainers. I mean, like, he been playing for Spurs. Really good, really potent in football. I don't know, maybe. Well, if you look at the coaching manual, you don't need to. I don't know, I don't know. He's got caught two square to his man there. That. Well, that looked promising. Maybe that's a Stopped. sign. Maybe Daniel Sturridge might look El -Neri. to Ars. Oh, uh, as an option in the summer. Cockalo. I don't know. <laughs> Comes in with a tackle. That could go for in game and in real life to be honest. Good through Because you could possibly be leaving in real life as well. More than likely, yes. Oh, it didn't quite work out for him. And they've lost possession. Lost the ball in a bad area. Here we go, Daniel Sturridge. Ooh! Yeah, but in the moment, Hector Bellerin did not come out of that. Well, they've got a substitute coming on now. Too well. And the injured player. His uh, game is over. Callum Chambers is entering the fray. Samuel Umtiti. Mohamed El Neni. Ramsey. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Liverpool, for so long, the most successful club in league football in England. A long time they've had to wait now to try and get a league title again. It's looking good now. It's looking Costa Pereira. They have played some really comp. Well, they could have really threatened the goal then, as it is the goalkeeper has a simple possession. Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Team have keep putting the pressure on. But, uh, this ground against this opposition to make it six is going to be a test. It will be. This is a team that tends to, to keep the ball. Cost the prayer. To take the sting out of the situation. So that's what's helped them this year. Attacking well here. More. To put them in front. Wonderful save. Cost the prayer. Goal. Am I not? Normally is the captain of the, the goal. This particular lineup will uh, resume that G good luck here again the season the replay of the goal. Five? Yeah, five. <laughs> Completely. I've done what season I was in there for a second. Of course this is a uh, first could be the trigger for this game. goal the of the season in the Premier League. So I don't think we're wrong to admit that. See, because he hasn't played that many games. It's exciting. They've got the goal. It has, and it's going to force the opposition out. They've got to show the hand a bit more. 
Aaron Ramsey. Great interception. In quickly. Here we go. Hands. Sturridge! He blocked that well. Well, they've got a corner now. And possibly a chance to add to their lead. You have to wonder, will he get that one more goal? Here comes the cross. That's a splendid clearance. Arsenal just keep batting the ball away and I just keep sending it back. We'll just have to resume doing that in the second half. <laughs> 45 minutes. He started and Daniel Sturridge's Liverpool field. career. Oh well, it won't be officially over. It won't be officially over until his contract, of course, Liverpool runs out. But this is indeed his last game. It's going to be another throw now. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Aaron Ramsey. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. On to the attack now. He's looking for the cross. Had to reach for it, slid into the tackle. Ojo. Costa Pereira. It's going to be a substitution for Arsenal. Ah, the tackle from Coughlin, just as I was about to pass it to Sturridge. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture for Liverpool. They'll be hosting Spurs. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. El Nenny. The return ball. Ramsey. And he's got the ball. Foul against Liverpool. Where he gives a free kick for absolutely nothing, of course. Alex Oxley Chamberlain trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Oh, that could have been the equaliser, so close. And it's been an hour of very good football here. Cox. Still got 30 more minutes to go. And Sturridge. Oh, that's a nasty foul. Top rack trying to end Sturridge's career. Here, period. Oh dear, he's committed himself and maybe looking not to get a red. Never mind his little walker. It's a reckless one. Substitution for Arsenal coming off the pitch. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Southampton in the next match. And I do think whoever scores first is going to win this tight one. Emery Moore. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Also, a chance to whip it in. Best sass. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Crosses in. Sturridge! Oh, if I'd gotten the shot away, it could have been a goal. Wait, this could be it. Daniel Sturridge! There it is! It's not guaranteed, but that could be Daniel Sturridge's final Liverpool goal. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch. And the last time in Liverpool cars was he the the now infamous Daniel Sturridge in celebration. This is a fourth Premier League goal. Will it be his last? Restarting at 2 0. Because there's no guarantee he'll uh, go to another Premier League the club. Check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Attacking well here. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. I guess we will wait and see what the future holds for Daniel Stone.
Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Made the challenge well. Ramsey. Costa Pereira, is there another goal? Go for Daniel Sturridge. On goal! There it is! Daniel Sturridge has delivered again in front of goal. And there is time, perhaps, Daniel Sturridge has one more little hat trick he is feeling that special life at the moment. To share with the Enfield full faithful. Faithful. Well, they've widened the margin now. You see, the, that first goal is not guaranteed to be his last. Nor is that one. And plenty of time for him to get to complete the hat trick and go out in absolute style. It's looking good, this move. Gone for the through pass. Defender to it first. In comes the challenge. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. More. Cox. Here is Daniel Sturridge. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Sturridge. Shots on. Oh. Hands on. There will be a minimum of three Two minutes. Two around the uh, crowd. Everyone hadn't been crying around him. That could have been the moment. Well, he's appealing. <laughs> he was on side. Wait. No way. Oh, I thought he was after born for full time. No, it's uh, off slide. He's after born for Cox. No. There it is. Daniel Sturridge's Liverpool career comes to an end with one final brace. I kind of wish there was some way I could make the players like hoist them up, you know. I'm like, oh, this is his last game and he's just going, oh, hey, yeah, club. So men forward and so many players I mean, capable of popping up and getting a goal. I like I, I don't think I won't see Daniel Sturridge again. I don't know, unless he retires. I mean he's only thirty one. So that would uh lead me to believe he wouldn't. But you know, you never know. Maybe he's like I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished in my he career for the Premier League. He winners medals, the FA Cup winners medals, all those medals. You're welcome, by the way. So, that's the uh, end of this episode and the final game of one Daniel Sturridge. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And then until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.